I'm wearing this because I cut my hair and I look like a fool. I'm not going to show it because I will get made fun of and I'll get memed to the extent. Anyway, this video is going to be talking about how I got into origami. I've not actually mentioned it. I've mentioned it a few times, but not properly in a video. So we're going to do that and then we're going to read replies to how others got into origami. So I asked how you got into origami on Instagram and a bunch of people replied. So if you want to have a chance to get into these types of videos, then follow me on Instagram. This is a great way to get into these videos if you wish. I got into origami back in 2011, November 2011, round about then. Um, I don't know why or what I came across uh, Rob World's Ninja Star video, but I came across that. I don't know if it was recommended to me, if I searched like throwable paper things or someone sent me it. I cannot remember why I found it and I'm lucky I did and I'm grateful that I did. I do remember in school we used to make water bombs, obviously I didn't know the name of it at the time. We used to make these, this is an early memory, uh, and then we got that blue tack, we put it on the inside and then we fold it back up and then it's basically like a dart, you can throw it. We used to throw it at people so we've done that. Uh, so that was like an early memory of folding and also my grandpa taught me a paper airplane all those years ago. I'm trying to figure out what he showed me and how it was made so I can do a tutorial of it. A really cool one from two bits of paper. I can't remember fully how to do it so I'm going to brainstorm how to do that. Right, so we're going to read the replies on the question I asked, how did you get into origami? Jaren Freke, he said substitute teacher in elementary school, which that's awesome. Luckily you got a substitute that taught origami and it got you into the world of folding. Chris Sieni, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrect, eight years old back in 2010. That's a great age to start folding because it's, you've got all the time in the world, you can fold as much as you want. Colin Crowder, 2019, a Japanese kid gave out origami spinners and I reverse engineered it in second grade. Wow. <laughs> reverse engineering back then, that's insane. Voraxis Gami, paper banger, instructions and the back of a book I read when I was eight. Amazing. Asher03 Origami, first year of school from a Japanese teacher we had. Learning it in school is probably the best thing ever. I wish I did in my school, but never did sadly. Sim Origami, with a very simple book from my aunt as a gift 13 years ago. That must have been an amazing gift. And Art Paper Store, Louise Takaguti. I got into it when I was nine. I always had to wait my mum to pick me up at the school, so I had to do something to wait for her that something came out to be origami. That is a time well spent, I must say. Juniper, 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 around 2013, but I can't really remember how. Yeah, I wish when I started that I would have taken down a lot more notes and how I got into origami, just to like the years to come that I could read back and go that's exactly what I did, that's exactly how I got from A to B and then that's exactly how I started. I regret not doing that but I never thought about doing that. Noah TG47, I started when I was around 67 when I saw this paper airplane my grandpa made <laughs> exactly as mine. I really need to think about how it was made again. I know how the last part was made when it got slotted in but I can't remember how Mimo Origami, my brother showed me a video on YouTube on 2011 I think and that how it all started so amazing as well watching videos gets you the idea to jump into paper folding and just have fun and enjoy it Almas Doi 15 I started from when I was four years old I got into complex stuff when I was about eight years old which is Amazing, four years old and you're folding. Damn. 
Rafa Kadorat. I saw Ryujin 3.5 in a Captain Sparkles video and thought, how, how, wow. What video is that if you're watching uh, Rafa? Uh, I'd like to see that Ryujin 3.5 in his video. Miniman's Origami went for an exhibition by Origami Mitra Mumba back in 2006 when I was studying undergrad maths. Saw an exhibit on origami and maths, started learning about origami and maths and still. That is amazing. And it's crazy how origami is made up entirely on mathematics. The purposes, the principles, how it's all designed, how it all comes together and how we fold to this day. Origami echoes when I was about nine looking for how to make a paper boat and ended up discovering origami. That's amazing as well. Also I remember in school we used to do, I don't remember what those things were called, where you have the paper you go, I have no idea what they're called. If you remember and then like you'll, like, like you'll count one, two, three, four, and then you'll pull up the bit of paper and then it'll say something whatever person has written on it, like do this or do that or you will be good or whatever. If you know the name of that, let me know in the comments. We did a lot of those in school. Justin Mayer, 54, with a basic origami book, The Joy of Origami, seven or eight years ago. Was that your first book, Justin? And again, that's amazing. Can't remember what my first Maybe, I think it was a tessellation, tessellation book. Or it was or Origami Insects and Their Kin by Robert Lang. I think it was that one. Ash K. Vasi. Try again. Ashke Vasita. Is that it? I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it. My grandpa used to do used to make small things like boats, etc. during summer vacation and for when 2017. So again, learning from the family that is amazing. Igor Pilot Art, when my mum just taught a toddler me to fold the traditional boat. Amazing. Parents are also good for that. Ange Goel 2425 While scrolling through YouTube found Transforming Ninja Star by Rob's World got into origami. Basically the exact same as how I did but it was no it was no it wasn't a ninja star. The throwing star Rob's World, thank you so much again. Jadov, about eleven years ago, popped up on YouTube trending page, Rob's World I think. Again, Rob's World. You are some legend. Andy Ramirez. In the, an episode of Tom and Jerry, there was a paper airplane, seven year old me decided to make it. I loved Tom and Jerry. Absolutely the best cartoon ever. Tom and Jerry, Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls. I really need to try and find the episodes just to see Tom and Jerry. Paper airplane and see what it's like. Shubham Jane, friend, challenged me to make a crane when I was 13. Have been making origami ever since. Amazing, that's what friends are for. To, th to think that if your friend never challenged you, you would probably never fold. You'd be doing something else as a hobby instead of origami, which is amazing. Art paper store, high fuels flourish, smile face. That's not a question. Or an answer. Raj Wow SN. I came across one of Robert Lang's folds on Google Plus when I was 11 and started folding. Amazing. Searching, I do remember in a friend's house that lived just across the road. I do remember being in a room or we were playing games or something and then looking at pictures. And then I do remember seeing a a dollar, a dollar camera on the, on the TV screen or was the computer, I can't remember. I, I seen a dollar camera, must have been like a one dollar camera fold and a tank as well. I remember brief memories of those two. Those things basically came upon me and decided that I was going to be doing this, which is amazing. So thank you Robert for that. If you're watching Benjamin Guy, my dad bought me an origami book when I was in fifth grade. Amazing. What book was it? I'm really curious to know. Simple origami, seven years ago in school. Absolutely brilliant as well. Again, I think they should do like origami classes in schools or universities or colleges. Leonard, 
two years ago because I couldn't fold a simple boat. I wanted something more complex. Leonard, you are an amazing folder by the way and I've seen your folds and they're outstanding. I think it was only a few years ago that you started and now you're doing complex stuff which is absolutely amazing. Leonard, thank you so much. Zed, Joe, about seven or, or eight years ago when my parents bought me a beginner's origami book. Again, what book was that? I'm really curious to know. Uh, that's amazing as well. That's a brilliant gift. And I think that for anyone buying gifts for family members or friends, an origami book, you never know how it will turn out for them. Manpreet Sai. I still remember it was a rainy day and my grandfather taught me how to fold a paper boat, which is amazing. Um, it's raining, can't go outside, so we'll share some folding knowledge and skills. Noah Origami, I started when I was 6, I'm 13 right now, but it was always off and on until one year ago. And that is amazing. The thing with on and off folding is there's nothing wrong with that. I do that as well. For the past week, I haven't really folded, but I've been making a lot of paper, so I've been making more paper than folding at the moment, and I've also been playing Fallout 76, so that takes up a lot of time as well. So, that's amazing as well. Shameous, first grade, paper aeroplanes fascinated everyone and I slowly drifted towards origami, which is a brown. I think, I think paper aeroplanes is something that brings everyone together. It ignites that little switch in everyone. Paula Karos, five year old me wanted to search for something else and accidentally found it. Accidents do happen and they are amazing, so that is a lucky accident. Again, to think that if you'd never accidentally found this, you would probably never be folding to this day, which is crazy. Thomas Oof, 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 started out when I was five, but I started seriously a year ago. I was seven. That feeling when you really get into origami, when you start to progress and from like simple to intermediate, intermediate to complex, is amazing because you know you're getting better, you know you can do harder things, you know you have the capabilities and you know that you can do it. You believe in yourself so you can do it. Noisy Bones, I got into it three years ago just making a crane and then trying to make different things. You make a crane, you try to make different things, different random folds and then that gets your brain ignited with the imagination and then you go for it. Lost Baguette. My response is too long, low, <laughs> so I, I'll DM that instead, okay, so I need to read that out, so I'm going to go scroll back and try and find that response. Right, so it is a long response, and I do have permission to read this private message from Lost. You better come through this, it's going to be a big read. At the age of five, my grandmother taught me how to fold a crane, and I was mesmerised the moment I creased the paper. Since then I started to fold origami models from beginner level books and eventually intermediate YouTube tutorials. When I was about 12 years old, I found a picture of Camilla's Phoenix on the internet and I was so amazed by it. It's an amazing model. I've never seen origami so complex and beautiful up until that moment. I later found out that Dashimori made a tutorial of it, but it was way too difficult for me at the time. I always thought that it would be impossible for me to fold it. And that's one of the key things about folding, when you see something that is way too complex and that gets you excited because you want to make it, you want to have that model right here in front of you. So it is, what can I do to learn? to give me the skills necessary to make that and then you go in whatever direction it is to get to where you want to go. Amazing. However, my passion for origami soared when I was found when I found out about the works of Satoshi Kimiya. I was about 15 at the time. From that point on I got absorbed into folding complex models and finally I discovered the community of origami and all the wonderful designers, folders, enthusiasts part of it. Watching all those origami YouTubers gave me huge bursts of motivation and you're one of them grand smiley face. Thank you so much Lost, that's honestly amazing to hear and to feel when you read it, it's honestly bright. Thank you so much. 
I've been watching your videos since 2017. Thank you so much for all the support. Lost, you are an amazing friend. If you don't know, I met Lost Baguette at the Origami USA convention. I'll link some videos in the description. I will link his page, so make sure to follow him. He is a fantastic folder and not just a fan, but a fantastic friend that I can happily say that. So thank you so much Lost. Getting Robert Lang's Origami Design Secrets was also the starting point of my design journey and I learned more and more after each design. I made or CPI fold. It's crazy to think that a few years back the Phoenix was an impossible goal for a goal to me, but now I've folded it four times. Showing off are you? And how I couldn't even comp comprehend the region crease pattern, but now it's one of my goals of this year. Origami is just really special and unique to me and I look forward to what the future holds. That is lost. Your speaking words right here it is so true. And everyone watching, find the model that you love to make and then go for it. Do what you have to do to learn, get the, the practice, get the skills, get the knowledge and go for it. And I think again Ryujin is a top tier model, it's a very complex model and I think it's a model that everyone should strive to make because it gives that encouragement, that positiveness that if someone has that goal that I want to make that, I want to go for it, then that's honestly the best thing ever and I think everyone should have a goal in origami and especially a model to make so definitely do that for those that are watching. And thank you so much Lost for that massive reply, that means a lot. Michael Balancing, as a kid, stopped for years when I was like 12 and picked it up again when I came across works of Satoshi Kimiya. Again, that is amazing and Mike is a fantastic folder and also he does hand balancing and is super impressive at doing that and also massive on Instagram so make sure you go follow him, I will also link him in the description as well. I do think that's the prime time to start folding as when you're younger. I started when I was about 19, 1920, so I didn't start till later on. So I think as a child or early teenager, it's a great position to start phone. You'll learn so much then. Charchit Sisodia. A friend made a ninja star for me and I thought it was cool, so I started getting into origami. That's what friends are for. Uh, sharing hobbies, sharing passions. Xerox 0001. Two years ago, when it was suggested to me as a coping mechanism and therapy, origami is very therapeutic as well because you're. For me, I've got the paper here or the model. I'm relaxed, comfortable. I can chill out. I can do it my own time, my own leisure. So there's no rush. There's no time frame. I can sit here for ten hours if I need to. If I'm stressed out, come and fold, relaxed, clear head, <sighs> everything is bright. It's amazing. So that's what I do. And it's, if you do that as well, it's bright. And that is it. That is all the responses I got. I'm definitely going to do videos like this in the future. And um, So if I never replied to your comment, which I'm pretty sure I did to all of them, or if you, weren't included, if you weren't included in this video, then let me know how you got into origami in the comments below. Let's get the comment section absolutely full of how everyone got started and full.